Hey everyone, today is Monday, May 16th, 2011. My name is Katri and you are watching Heavy Metal News Weekly. So firstly, I wanted to say that since today is the International Metalheads Day, that I wanted to wish you a very happy International Metalheads Day and I hope your day was full of metal. And uh, let's get on with this week's news. Firstly, British Trashers Evil will release their third album, Five Serpents Teeth, on August 29th via Rush Records. And the CD was recorded at Parlour Studios in Kettering, UK, with producer Russ Russell. And uh, Russ Russell also worked on the band's uh, previous CD, which was released on, in 2009 and was called Infected Nations. And uh, Evil guitarist Old Drake revealed that the band's new effort will feature a song inspired by the group's late bassist Mike Alexander, who died in 2009 following a blood clot in his lungs. Norwegian progressive metallers Enslaved released a free downloadable five-song EP entitled The Sleeping Gods via Sion AV. Following up on the last year's near universally praised Axioma Ethica Odini, the EP finds the quintet once again expanding the boundaries of what metal can be. And uh, they are incorporating, incorporating influences uh, from across the musical spectrum. Uh, mainly the Sleeping Gods EP was recorded in Solsleted Studio in Bergen and partly in the band's own home studio. Reformed heavy metal legends Accept were forced to play as a four-piece band during their concert in Houston, Texas on May 7th after the band's guitarist Herman Frank suffered broken ribs and a punctured lung in a stage fall the previous night in San Antonio. And um, uh, this incident happened when the band was playing the song Bulletproof and uh, I'm pretty sure you can find uh, his uh, unfortunate fall when you type in in YouTube search bar uh, accept uh, San Antonio Bulletproof or something like it and you can find the clip if you want to see the fall itself. Former Megadeth guitarist Marty Friedman is auctioning a Jackson guitar he used in the studio and on the road with the band in the late 1980s and early 1990s with all proceeds going to Jason Becker's Special Needs Trust and ALS Therapy Development Institute. And uh, uh, to those of you who don't know who Jason Becker was, he was a one-time guitar prodigy, first known as part of the metal duo Cacophony, until he was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS, at age 20, shortly after joining David Lee Roth's uh, band for the gold-selling 1991 album A Little Ain't Enough. Although the disease robbed him of his ability to play guitar, and eventually left him both paralyzed and unable to speak. Becker continues to compose music with the help of computers, collaborators and the system of communication using eye movements that was devised by his father Gary. And even after his once prodigious axe skills left him, Jason's music continued to earn the respect of his peers. And that is the reason why Marty Friedman is auctioning off his Jackson guitar um, and that's why the proceeds are going to Jason Becker Special Needs Trust. Bestseller, the new video from Israeli metallers Betzefer has been released and the track comes off the band's latest album Freedom to the Slave Makers which was released on February 18th via AFM Records. And Freedom to Slave Makers was re recorded with acclaimed producer Warren, Warren Riker. And uh, Bet Sefer is also confirmed for Germany's With Full Force Festival 
and will support also Cavalera conspiracy on their due da two dates in Germany. Avenged Sevenfold's uh, music video for its latest single So Far Away has been released and the clip is described as a raw and emotional tribute to the late Avenged Sevenfold's drummer Jimmy the Rev Sullivan who died in December 2009 from an accidental overdose of prescription drugs. And the track itself, which appears on the band's current Nightmare album, is said in a press statement to be a very personal goodbye to Sullivan. One more time, the new video from Swedish metallers Hammerfall has been released and the clip was directed by Patrick Gurleos of Revolver Film Company and uh, it is a track from their upcoming album Infected and Infected will be released on May 20th in Europe and June 7th in North America via Nuclear Blast Records. According to the Pulse of Radio, ACDC frontman Brian Johnson and guitarist Angus Young slammed the creation of instant pop stars through reality shows like American Idol in an interview with the Associated Press. And uh, Brian Johnson said the following, There's only one way to do it. You get on the stage, you learn your trade and you get out and play in front of people. You serve your apprenticeship just like everybody else. He added that the shortcut way leads to tears at the end of the day and it's all hype and it's not fair to the kids to make them famous one week and nobody's the other week. And, it, and he says that it's just not right. And Johnson also recalled that he began his career singing in British clubs for perhaps for 30 people and that he took buses to get to his gigs. And I must say that I completely agree with uh, Brian Johnson and Angus Young on this matter. But you can leave your comments down below, what do you think about this idol stuff? Does it help metal musicians or rock musicians to get, get out there and get the, some more attention or, or is it a pointless thing? It's now official. There will be no Ozfest 2011. The venerable heavy rock and metal festival which was started in 1997 by Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne has gone through a number of changes over the last few years as a result of economic woes and more competition from events like Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem and Uproar festivals. Now for the second time in three years Ozfest will not take place this summer and Ozzy himself commented that uh, that is true, there will be no Ozfest this year and he says that he just finish, finished a lengthy arena tour of the US and he has decided to tour Europe this summer instead. According to Tampa Bay Online, drummer Donald Dardy of Florida-based Metallers Orbituary has more than 140 cats. They are feral cats and according to the Human Society of Tampa Bay they are among an estimated 200,000 roaming Hillsborough County. Tardy tends to more than 20 colonies, with some with as few as two cats, others nearly with 30 cats. And he carefully protects their locations. Some people are capable of unimaginable cruelty while others find colonies a convenient place to dump unwanted cats. Every day uh, Donald Dardy checks on his so-called Kang and feeds the cats when necessary and also gets them veterinary care. And I must say that Donald Dardy of Orbituary is definitely someone to look up to because he is uh, tending more than 140 cats, he's taking care of them, uh, making sure they are okay and I think that this shows that he is a really, really good person and I wish there would be more people in the world like him. Italian hard rock metal band Lacuna Coil has entered the studio to begin recording the as yet untitled new album 
and uh, it will be a follow-up to their 2009's Shallow Life and the new CD will again be released via Century Media Records and the group is once again working with producer Don Gilmore and this time they are choosing to record in their own native country Italy and uh, their male vocalist Andrea Ferro said that this is uh, uh, one of their darkest albums and all the links to the bands I talked about in today's video are down in the description box and I will be doing a new shout out to new bands next week uh, so if you want to be featured in this section then please let me know through leaving a comment on my video uh, messaging me contacting me through heavy metal news weekly dot webs dot com or through facebook so just let me know if you want your band to be featured in the shout out to new bands so thank you so much for watching and i will see you again next monday with new news so bye